Hi guys, Mike here again. Hey, I wanna to talk today about raising champions. So really I'm talking to you guys that have got young children. 1 Corinthians 13, 11 says, when I was a child, I talked like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I put the ways of childhood behind me. In other words, sum that up, I put away childish things. So as a dad and a leader to raise champions, we need to put away childish things out of our lives. To raise champions and strong leaders has to come out of our life um, because what you put into your life will come out of your life. I remember many years ago, I uh, had a peppered steak and I added a whole lot of pepper and chili to it. And at the time it was beautiful, but the next day it certainly was coming out of my life. I stunk, man. I stunk of garlic and whoo, people didn't want to come near me. <laughs> so what you put into your life is going to come out of your life. But you've got to do that first because you can't do it on an empty tank. Reinhard Bonnke used to talk about when he ministered in front of crowds, he used to say, get your kids in front of Jesus. Um, you know, we often have a very religious view of Jesus sitting under a tree with two little children coming near him. Um, remember Matthew nineteen fourteen, Jesus said, let the little children come to me. Do not hinder them for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. And we always have that beautiful religious picture, you know, Jesus meek and mild sitting there and the disciples being a bit of bully. But it wasn't like that. There were crowds, man. There were crowds. There were thousands of people pushing, shoving, uh, and, and people had their kids and they were saying things like, I want to get my kids to Jesus. They're crowd surfing their children to get them to Jesus. Now think, let that dwell for a minute because I want to encourage you. Are you crowd surfing your kids to get them to Jesus? Um, disciples were saying, make them stop, make them stop. And Jesus said, no, let them come. So I want to encourage you today, throw your kids at Jesus. What does that mean? It means take them to church, sing them a song, read them a Bible story, awaken them with Christian music, put them to bed with Christian stories, pray with them, create a family altar, send them to Christian camps, throw them at Jesus. Now that's actually an act of love. It's not um, defaulting your parenting in any way because it's a sacrifice. Love overrides everything. Okay, Jesus commanded us, love the Lord your God, bless your heaps, see ya.